Welcome back to The Farmer Was Replaced. We're going to unlock pumpkins today and see if we can grow some pumpkins. Pumpkins require a pumpkin seed to grow that can be traded for with one carrot. And then basically a pumpkin has a one in five chance of dying. So we can fill this whole field with pumpkins. And if we get a two by two square of pumpkins, it'll join and become one giant pumpkin and we'll get a bonus. Uh, the bigger the pumpkin is, the bigger the bonus. So this formula is right here. Two by two pumpkin would be eight pumpkins instead of four. Three by three pumpkin would be 27 instead of nine. Four by four would be 64. So the definitely makes sense to make sure that we have one giant pumpkin. But we only get a giant pumpkin if we have four pumpkins that grow as a square here. So we'll have to use some code to make sure that the pumpkin didn't die when we planted it. Here's my pumpkin code down here. A lot of it is temporary until we get lists. Lists are the next thing we're going to unlock. It requires, I think, a thousand pumpkins. So we're going to unlock it right away. But basically, we're just trading for pumpkin seeds, clearing the field. This uh, X and Y for loop is we covered in the sunflower video. So if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch that. Uh, so we're going to till it, plant the pumpkin, and then move north. So this will cycle through the whole field and plant pumpkins. And then I'm going to, I kind of duplicated a lot of code here just until we get lists. But this goes back through every tile and it checks to make sure that there's a pumpkin there. If there's not, it plants a pumpkin there and it goes through the whole field doing that. I only have it going through once. So there's, we're not going to get one giant pumpkin right away, but it'll get us a better chance of getting larger pumpkins. And it just goes through the field one more time and harvests everything in the field. So let's go ahead and run that and see if it works. Well, we have to call it from call from this code because this is this is just a definition of the code. We actually didn't call it anywhere. Grow pumpkins. All right. So there it goes planting the pumpkins. So we only got one giant pumpkin out of that one. But we can just do this a couple times. As long as all four of these grow, we'll get a giant pumpkin. Got two giant pumpkins that time. So I'm going to run this just to get my thousand pumpkins so we can make a list and then we can do this the proper way. So I noticed this code wasn't really working because we don't trade for pumpkin seeds the second time around. So when it gets to here that we don't have any pumpkin seeds left and there's no, th no way it can plant a pumpkin. So we're going to have to trade again. We'll have to definitely find a better way to do this once we get the lists unlock. But that'll at least get us more pumpkin seeds. So now when we hit play, it should plant pumpkins where they died. But then again, it doesn't let them give enough time to grow, so that doesn't really matter. But we'll have a thousand pumpkins here pretty soon, so... This is taking a little longer than expected, but we do have 273 pumpkins. So let's go ahead and expand the farm. That'll help speed up the pumpkin growth here. Now we have one whole extra row of pumpkins being planted. Come the pumpkins. That worked out a little better. We did get one giant pumpkin there for a little bit there. Okay, so I changed this code slightly. I just did a calculation at the top here, tiles in world equals get world size times get world size. So that way I wasn't constantly doing this calculation throughout the code. And then I had to put if statements in here because I was trading so much stuff for pumpkin seeds when I was replanting the second round that I had tons of extra pumpkin seeds and I was burning through all my carrots just buying pumpkin seeds. So I had to put an if statement in here to make sure that we actually needed to buy them. But now we have a thousand carrots. We can unlock lists, I believe. Happy days. 
So I'm going to read up on this, learn how to use them, and then we will implement something in our code to basically come over here and check after we've planted. We'll go through and measure the field once to see which ones did not grow, and then put those on a list and constantly check them until they are a harvestable pumpkin, and then we'll harvest one giant pumpkin each time. Let's go over this code. So I have called Grow Pumpkins. This tiles in world just basically calculates the size of the world, so how many tiles are in it. And it creates a checklist, which is this is just a list, empty list right here. So then it says if the number of items of pumpkin seeds is less than the tiles in the world, trade for that amount of pumpkins. So basically, if our field size is 25 tiles, it's going to trade for 25 pumpkin seeds. Then it's going to clear the field. And this 4x, 4y deal is going to go through every tile in the, in the field. It's going to till it, plant a pumpkin, and this is just moves through the field. Then we check the pumpkin seeds again. Now that we've planted everything, we need to buy pumpkin seeds again just to make sure we have enough to finish out the field. Again, I don't like this because it's got the it, same thing twice, so not great. And for X and range, for Y range, again, we're going to trans, we're going to go through the whole field, and we're going to check each one. If it has a pumpkin on it, and it can harvest it, that means it has a fully grown pumpkin. So we're just going to pass. That means we're going to do nothing. If it doesn't have a fully grown pumpkin, it's going to add the X position and the Y position to the list. And this, this list is just a list of numbers, so I have to be careful what order I add and take stuff on. It's not adding a coordinate to the list, it's adding two numbers to the list. So, not ideal, but I couldn't figure out how to make a coordinate appear on the list. And then you got, if get any type does not equal a pumpkin, go ahead and plant a pumpkin. So that means it's not a pumpkin there, we need to plant one. The reason this is here is because if, if the pumpkin is still growing, we can just let it grow. And I move north and east, so this will basically move through the whole field. So, so this basically moves through the whole field, creates a list of ones that do not have pumpkins, do not have fully grown pumpkins. And this is why length of the checklist is not equal to zero. That means why there's stuff on the checklist. Take off the, f the first element of the list, Put it in your X position, take off the next element in the list, put it on the Y position, and go to that position. And if the entity type is a pumpkin and it can harvest it, just pass it. That means it, the pumpkin grew and it's good. Else, put that list, that one back on the checklist here, put X and Y back on the checklist, and check to make sure that it's not the pumpkin didn't die. So if there's no pumpkin there, plant a new pumpkin. It'll do this until the list is zero. So it'll just revisit all these XY coordinates until the list is zero. And then once that list is zero, it'll harvest it because it'll only be one pumpkin left. So I think this needs to be back here. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work, but let's try it. Okay, so it's planting the pumpkins. Couple dead ones. I don't know why that did that. Just need to go again. It's harvesting the pumpkin. I don't know why it's harvesting the pumpkin. Let's see if I can move this up here. I'll wait till it gets the pumpkins again and we'll try to follow it. Alright, so it's going through this. It's creating the checklist and now we're in a infinite loop. Uh, give me a minute to research this and let me we'll see what I come up with. So if we click right here, it puts a little red dot, that's a breakpoint. It will we're just going to put it down here. That will stop the code when it gets to this point, and we can step through the code and see where it's going wrong, because it's planting the field okay, but it's not 
planting them again. Just gotta catch up on the hay and lumber. Here we go here. So it's gonna plant the field and it's gonna stop when it gets to here. All right, so it stopped here. So this should, we can step through it. So it's checking that one, it can harvest that one. It's passing because it's already grown, but it's not moving, it's just doing it again. So why is it not moving? Moving north now. So I think this moving north is indented wrong. So this should be over here and this should be over here. Yeah, that makes more sense. Let's turn that off, try it again. Here go the pumpkins. There we go, looks like it's working, cool. I'll let it run a couple times to make sure it's working, but that actually looks like it doing its thing. Let's see how many pumpkins we get for this one. It's 338 pumpkins right now. There we go. So we have 463, so over 100 pumpkins. One, two, three, four, five. So five times five times five, 125 pumpkins. And it looks like it's working consistently. Good stuff. In between episodes, I'll ponder this, but we're essentially running this code twice here. This if get empty type pumpkin, this code here, we're essentially running twice because it runs it the same thing right down here. So if you have any ideas on how to fix that, leave me a comment. I'm going to revisit the sunflowers real quick. I think we're going to, I'm going to copy this over here just so I have a backup of it. I'm going to comment that out so that it doesn't confuse the code, but I'm actually going to get rid of these locations. It's kind of holding me back, I think. So let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of this. And we're just going to plant the whole thing in sunflowers and measure each one and figure out what the max petal size is, basically. We don't care about its location, we just want to know what the maximum amount of petals is on the field. And then we will, let's see, let's So that is the for loop here. And then what we'll do is we can take this off. And then we can just basically go through the whole field again. And so let's copy this down just so I have the. So we're not going to till it. We're just going to measure it. So we don't actually need to measure it here. We're already doing that. And we're not planting anything. So right here, if measurement is greater than max petals, and actually we can just change this to equals to now. Max petals equals measures. We're not going to set that anymore. We're actually just going to harvest it. But we have to make sure it's fully grown, so I'll have to put a check in here to do. We can actually just move this up into here. So Y entities equals sunflower. If can't harvest, harvest. So I think something like that. So it'll basically measure It'll check the measurement again if it equals the max petals, which we calculated up here. It will wait till it's fully grown and then harvest it and then it'll move on to the next one. 
But basically what I'm doing here is going through the X and Y grid, checking to see if it's the max pedal size, which we calculated up top here. And then this is just while the entity is a sunflower. If you can harvest it, harvest it. So basically this will just loop until the flower is fully grown and then we'll harvest it. And then it'll move on to the next one. So I think that should work. We can run it and see. Let's go run here and see. Planting sunflowers now. I found a max size one. I'm going to harvest it. There's only two max petal sizes. That seems unlikely. So that seems to be working better. It's picking up the highest ones. We could even set it to go with one further and subtract one from here and pick out the second highest ones. That does appear to be working. We seem to be getting a little bit more power. So this power number is really not climbing very fast. So we're going to try one more thing. We're going to try taking this and adding one more loop to this. I don't know if I can do a triple for loop. Sounds like it's recipe for disaster. But we're going to just say for I in range. And we're just going to hard code. This is 2, 2. So this all needs tabbed over. And we're going to put it down here. Let's see, I think it wants to be right here actually. Max pedals. Uh, equals max pedals minus one. I know there's a different way to write that, but and that way it'll it'll harvest all the max petals, it'll subtract one from it, and then it'll go through this again and pick the ones with the second highest petals. That way we should get almost double the amount of power out of it. I don't know if that's going to work. We already have an error. Must be a colon at the beginning, so we need a colon here. So I think this will operate twice. Let's try it. It's harvesting that one. Yeah, that was definitely better. I got 46 power out of that one. Yeah, so that's good. This makes it go through twice and picks the highest petals, then subtracts one from that and then picks the next set of petals. That's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.